know me as Michael, some know me as George, and so I call myself Michael George and I'm Marty, so it's kind of a, um, for a lot of years I went by my middle name George, so anyway, that's why people sometimes get confused. Um, well, now that I know what I'm talking about, that's important to be able to always know at least 30 seconds before we were to say. The, um, the, the aqua fuel unit that uh, we're producing now is almost like a concept unit that we wanted to get out from underneath the hood. Why? Because so many vehicles right now, you can't get the things in under the hood. We're mounting into Cadillacs and other vehicles that it's uh, getting harder and harder to find the area to actually put them under the hood. The other reason is because the other reason is because so many uh, vehicles under the hood temperatures in Florida, especially, can go in excess of 300 degrees. So your units, um, we we're finding typically um, there was more heat issues under the unit, uh, under the hood, than as opposed to being in the vehicle. Um, and what prompted this is actually the vehicles that we work on for Canada. Uh, the last HHO games, there was quite a few people from Canada, and they were constantly dealing with the issues of freezing units and, and temperature variations, and under the hood wasn't good enough, and all these other things. And so we started developing a unit for Canada, which was a removable unit from the vehicle that is made in an igloo cooler, okay? And so it worked great. Quick disconnect, um, what works great is uh, air connections, you know, for airlines. They work perfect for quick disconnects. You can disconnect the electrical and the unit, take the unit right out and bring it in. So we were talking to a guy, he says, well, this doesn't work up in Michigan. I said, why doesn't it work up in Michigan? <laughs> of course it works in Michigan. You know, you have to use, um, for cold weather, you have to use different fluids. I, rec I recommend the pink fluid that they use for RVs. Um, as, a, as a fluid, and then you can use a small electrolyzer with it. It works quite well. So, um, you know, this can be used for cold weather. Other people use very high concentrations of the potassium hydroxide, 23% um, for yeah, to keep it. Um, that's another avenue. I, I, I'm not concerned. I'm not real thrilled about having that much electrolyzer, um, especially in an internal unit like we mount them either in the trunk or in the vehicle themselves. Um, in fact, we want to mount one between the driver uh, and the passenger side seats, you know, so you have to look through his side and be able to do your dialing in right there. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of different things that when you're looking at so many different types of units here and, and you know, what's better, what's worse. Um, some people are bigger. When people have heard this from me, you know, bigger is better. It's the American way. More, more horsepower. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is that it's very easy to fall into that, and if you're aiming towards um, production for the vehicle to run on hydrogen, that's all well and good. But if you're talking about combining with a newer vehicle that has electronics, um, I'm a person, a minimalist, that believes in getting under the wire. Okay, if you're under the sensor um, level, which for most vehicles. I believe, this is my own personal opinion, is somewhere between a quarter to a third of a liter per two liters of engine size. Okay? I know that's a lot less than everyone's talking about. That's what I believe. You know, the world according to Michael George. Okay. But if you take that and you put that into the engine, most sensors are not going to freak out on you. Okay? And you can get better gas mileage. Yeah. Sure. That a quarter to a third of a liter, okay, per two liters of engine size, okay. Um, the, when they mounted that tractor trailer, yes, they did a great job mounting the, the uh, HHO unit in that tractor trailer. They only used two and a half liters for a tractor trailer, just to give you an idea. That's, you know, um, and I was impressed that they, they weren't trying to put huge amounts with large amperage, you know, um, to be able to back off from this ever increasing more is better mentality. Um, and what does this do? It, it gives us an avenue of not being able to put a load on the alternator. When you put a load on an alternator, you are affecting the, uh, the performance and horsepower of that engine, okay? Think about it, do you know um, um, the lifestyle machines where they have the bicycle that cranks and it's got the screen and you're going up hills? Do you know what they use to go up and down hills? They use a car alternator. Okay, inside there, and they put a load on a car alternator, and it can stop those pedals. There is a load on that alternator. 
And I didn't know that until I took it apart. You know, I, I see something, the uh, first thing I do is take it apart. So it's, uh, but that's just to give you an idea that there is a, a draw. And when you're, you know, talking over, especially over 10, 15, 20 amps, 30 amps, some cars, the newer cars, your sensor mods actually uh, monitor your alternator output. Okay, so just understand that the, as closer we get to sensor mod, um, the auto manufacturer probably call it heaven. I call it hell. It's uh, that you're you're actually seeing that um, that they're monitoring more things that are putting a draw on the engine that are going to require more fuel, and that's how they look at things. Okay, so uh, to me, small is good. Okay, Min minimal is better. So if your uh, your vehicle can tolerate um, uh, one liter a minute, okay, do you get the same gas mileage on a half a liter a month? Okay, try it. You'll be surprised. I, I've seen vehicles that you put a half a liter a minute on it, they get good gas mileage. You put a liter a minute on it, or a liter and a half, or two min uh, liters a minute, and the gas mileage plummets. Okay, why does that happen? It happens because if you're modifying the gasoline. Okay, if all you need is two hydrogens on your hydrocarbon chain when you break the hydrocarbon chain and you need two extra hydrogens, then you're not burning hydrogen, you're completing the chemical bonds on, on the uh, hydrocarbon chains. You, does everybody understand what I just said? Okay? No. Okay. Uh, this is why I use the lapel mic. Anyway, what, if you have a, 